Hello again everyone and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's video I have yet another laptop review for you guys and what I have right here is the ThinkPad T440P from Lenovo and we're going to look at it in today's video. Now if you haven't already seen the first episode in this series the general idea is I look for laptops that you can buy for under 300 US dollars Laptops that still run Linux fine today because you don't actually need to buy a brand new computer just to run Linux. And I was able to find this particular unit for just 270 US dollars. Released back in 2013, the ThinkPad T440P was meant to be a workstation style laptop, so it's quite thick. It weighs just shy of 5 pounds. Initially, it shipped with Windows 8.1 pre installed and featured 4th generation Intel processors, up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, and an optional NVIDIA GT 730M GPU. The unit that I purchased has an Intel Core i5-4200M CPU, a 256 gigabyte solid state hard drive, and Intel integrated graphics. Now I've been a fan of ThinkPad laptops for a very, very long time, specifically the T-Series. They're very well built, they last forever, they have an awesome keyboard, probably the best keyboard in the business, and they're just all around very pleasant to use. Definitely something that I recommend if you are looking for something used to run Linux on. Now oddly, the hard drive in this laptop originally belonged to a MacBook, and that's the thing about used computers, sometimes you just find something odd. The previous owner probably replaced the hard drive at one point or another with something they had lying around, but it is what it is. It's an SSD and it has 256 gigabytes of storage, so I can't complain. Like all the ThinkPads that I've used, the keyboard is great. But I especially love the key travel on the T440P, it was a pleasant surprise. Being a thicker laptop, Lenovo wasn't overly focused on trying to limit the key travel in order to keep the laptop thin, there's quite a bit of key travel with this keyboard, and surprisingly, I think I like this keyboard better than any other computer in the house right now. And that's saying a lot, because between review units and personally owned computers, I have 10 laptops in the studio today, and I like this keyboard better than all of them. It's just a pleasure to type on, and I love the added key travel. It feels like a real keyboard. The screen, however, is a downside. It's not that bright, and the resolution isn't all that great either. When this model was new, you could actually configure it with a higher resolution display. But the one that I purchased has a resolution of just 1366 by 768 But even if you did order this originally with a high resolution screen, it was quite common with ThinkPads in this time period to have terrible screens. Which is odd, because everything else about ThinkPads is outstanding. The keyboard, the build quality, ThinkPads just rock. But for some reason, Lenovo was under the false impression at this time that business class laptop users didn't care about screen quality. On mine, the screen looks a little bit on the dim side, and it comes off as looking grainy. But it's perfectly acceptable for the $270 that I paid for it. The trackpad doesn't have separate physical buttons like my System76 laptops do, and that's one thing that I don't like about it. But other than the lack of physical buttons, it's fine. The corners can be pressed down to give you the equivalent of a physical mouse button press, and the trackpad is very smooth and pleasant to the touch. But it's not going to win any awards, and I wouldn't even put this trackpad within the top five of the ones that I've used, but it's fine. It does what it needs to do, and it works. Out of the box, everything worked fine in Ubuntu except for wireless. And that's actually kind of strange considering that Intel wireless cards generally seem to work fine for me. I tracked it down to a potential kernel bug, and I was able to get it working by editing the slash etsy slash modprobe.d slash iwlwifi.conf file, and adding the line options iwlwifi 11n underscore disable equals 1 to the end of the file, and then everything worked just fine. Now this may not be necessary for everyone, and it may be due to a combination of hardware and settings on my part, but it is what it is. I was able to get it working. Other than that, the laptop was fully supported. Now keep in mind though, my unit has integrated graphics, 
And my experience may or may not have been different if I went with the model that has the NVIDIA GPU, so keep that in mind if you were to find one for yourself. The sound quality is actually pretty decent. Normally I'm not very impressed with laptop speakers, and the speakers on this model isn't going to give you amazing sound or anything like that, but it is better than most of the laptops that I have in the studio, so no complaints there. And I also like the physical Ethernet jack as well, making this a great solution for a home lab server or a laptop that you can use to configure your switches and routers. And the performance of this unit was really good as well. Everything was reasonably responsive. My apps loaded fairly quickly, so I have no complaints in that area. Now the only complaint that I have about this model is the screen. And like I mentioned earlier, that's fairly common when it comes to ThinkPads. For some reason, Lenovo just didn't decide to put a lot of emphasis on having a great screen on the older ThinkPad T-Series laptops. And maybe I'm over-exaggerating it a little bit, but the screen is definitely a weak area, but it's perfectly usable. All in all, I'm very impressed with this particular unit, so we can add this one to our list of laptops that run Linux just fine in 2021. So if you are looking for an older laptop and this model comes available, then I do recommend that you check it out. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about the T440P or any other laptop that you've run Linux on and had a great experience with. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.